So today, preschoolers, we are going to talk about gestures. And gestures are ways of communicating without making any sound. So I started this video by just waving. And that is me saying hello using a gesture. So yesterday we talked about insects and how they can communicate using sound. So today we are going to talk about insects and how some of them communicate with each other using no sound. Some ways that insects can communicate with each other using no sound are through dancing. Do you remember what insect dances to talk to each other? Did you say a bee? If you did, you're right. Do you remember when we read that book and we found out that bees dance to tell the other bees where to find the nectar so they can go and collect it and bring it back to the hive so they can make food or honey. Some insects use light to communicate. A lightning bug flashes the little light in different patterns and that tells the other fireflies what they're saying. Some insects communicate with each other through color. Butterflies communicate with each other using the colors on their wings. When they see the colors of the other butterflies, they know if it's a butterfly that's the same species or the same kind of butterfly, or if it's a different one. And some insects communicate using touch. When we touch something, we're using our fingers or our hands. And an insect that communicates through touch is an ant. They'll go up to each other and use their front legs to feel each other. And that helps them communicate and tell the other ant what they want to tell them. So those are the different ways that insects can communicate with each other without using sound. So today I found a book, so excited to read it, and it is called The Very Lonely Firefly. And guess who wrote and illustrated this book? It's Eric Carle. He's the same author and illustrator of The Grouchy Ladybug that we read and the same author and illustrator from our book that we read yesterday, The Quiet Cricket. So today we are gonna read this book called The Very Lonely Firefly. And in this book, we're gonna meet a firefly that was just born and he's using his light to try to find friends or other fireflies. Let's find out what happens when the very lonely firefly tries to find a friend. Lonely means you're all by yourself. Here's the sun. As the sun set, a little firefly was born. It stretched its wings and flew off into the darkening sky. So fireflies come out mostly at night because if they tried to flash their light during the daytime, you might not be able to see it or the other fireflies wouldn't be able to see it. Is. It was a lonely firefly and it flashed its light searching for other fireflies. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. It was a light bulb lighting up the sky. So there's a light bulb like we might have in our house. The firefly thought he saw another another firefly, but it was just a light in someone's home. It says, hear that noise? The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. It was a candle flickering in the night. So the firefly keeps seeing lights, but it's not the light of another firefly. So far, it's been a light bulb and a candle. And now this person says, what's going on?
the firefly saw a light and flew towards it, but it was not another flyer, firefly. It was a flashlight shining in the night. And the guy's saying, quiet out there. Have you ever used a flashlight? You have? Me too. It helps me to see outside when it's dark. I don't like walking around outside when it's dark unless I have my flashlight. The firefly saw a light and flew towards it, but it was not another firefly. It was a lantern glowing in the night. So the children have a lantern. It's something that sometimes people use like a flashlight, or you might use it if you go camping to hang up. It's a light that can be hung up and used when you're outside at maybe a party or camping or doing something like that where you don't want to hold a flashlight the whole time. And the children are saying, what is it? Hey, stop fighting. Stop fighting? I wonder what's fighting. What do you think? Let's find out. The firefly saw several lights and flew towards them, but they were not other fireflies. There was a dog and a cat. Look at the cat saying, meow, hiss. An owl in their eyes were reflecting the lights. Reflecting means that the light was shining in their eyes. So it was like bouncing off their eye. And so their eyes, were, they were glowing. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. It was a car's headlights flooding the night. Look, there's a whole car full of people. There's a mom and a dad and two kids and a cat and a dog and the owl's flying after them. And it says, look, wow, it's beautiful. What do you think they see that they're saying is beautiful? Let's find out. The firefly saw many lights and flew towards them, but they were not other fireflies. They were fireworks sparkling and glittering and shimmering in the night. Have you ever went to see fireworks? I have to. I really like the ones that when they explode, they're purple or the ones that are really glittery looking. But sometimes they hurt my ears because they're really, really loud. There's the firefly. Do you think he's ever going to find a friend? I hope so too. When all was quiet, the firefly flew through the night flashing its light, looking and searching again. Then the very lonely firefly saw what it had been looking for. A group of fireflies flashing their lights. Now the firefly wasn't lonely anymore. So look at all of those fireflies. Should we count them? Let's count. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen fireflies. That's the end of our story. That lonely firefly in the beginning kept flashing his light and looking for other flashing lights and he was able to find a big group of fireflies that he could join and become friends with them. Have you ever seen a firefly outside in the night? Sometime when you are able to go outside with your mom or dad or someone else in your family, and I want you to look for fireflies, you have to be very quiet and you have to look very closely because they just do little flashes. 
and sometimes it's easy to miss them. But if you look really hard, you'll probably be able to find some. And I think I'm going to go on a firefly hunt too. And if I'm able to, I might try to catch one in a jar so I can show you what they look like. But for now, I'll post in the comments below a video of some fireflies flashing in the night. So if you were a firefly and you could light up, I would love to know what color you would want to be. So when fireflies light up, they're kind of a yellowish color. So what color would you be? So you can draw a picture or you can have someone just write it in the comments and let me know what color you would want to be. And I can't wait to hear all about your bug hunt in the nighttime to find a firefly. See you next time.